Hello, in this video I'm going to install iTerm2, which is a terminal alternative to the one that comes with the, the Mac OS. So go to iTerm2.com, download. So it's a zip file. just um, put this zip file I think it's the program right straight off let's open it yeah so it's just an executable file let's close that quit item yeah so let's put this item in our program folder or application folder like that now I can open up here. Start it from there. Check for update automatically. Yeah, I can do that. And now let's pin this to our dock here. Alternative keep in dock. So we have easy access to it. Now we can remove this terminal one. Alternative remove from dock so now we have item 2 installed uh, another thing I want to install is something called oh my ZHS or oh, oh my ZHS yes it gives some additional features to item so let's install that just grab this Copy, open up item and you are in your home directory, paste it in. And now we have installed that. Next thing I want to do is to pimp the um, online make it a little prettier so we go to another site called it's github.com slash powerline slash fonts and we install a font called inconsolata and the reason I choose this is because inconsolata has Swedish uh, letters o and er and there are other languages supported, but Inconsolata supports Swedish letters, so I will be using that. So let's download this power line like that. Then view raw. So it's downloaded. Show in for show in finder. Open it up and press um, install font. So now we have this font on our computer. Now we can uh, go into iTerms preference. And go to profiles, text. We change the fonts to Inconsolata for power lines. And we can change the size as well to something like 20. So open up a new terminal. This is how it looks now. And now we should do some settings to oh my ZHS. So let's open Atom in our home directory and let's go to this hidden folder or file and we can change the theme here. So let's go back to the 
this page and we can go to the wiki and look for themes and here are some examples of themes that you can use I'm gonna use this one and it's called Agnuster so let's change this to Agnuster save that and now we're gonna source this, update it, so the term, so the the change uh, reflects in the terminal. We do that by writing source home directory slash dot z s h r c. Now we have this new fancy fonts. So let's go into our project folder. And let's go into a git enable folder and now we have this fancy icons here and we can see it's uh, on git master branch and things like that so I like to use this program you don't have to do use it but this is a program that I like to use so thank you for this video